crazy. <laughs> what's up welcome back to my channel as you guys can see I have a little guest here today my puppy Indio he's very excited right now in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that you need for a new puppy Indio is a year old now he just turned a year about um, a month ago so I've definitely learned about all of the essential things that you need for a puppy okay so I'm gonna get him out of here because he is super hyper right now I actually just created a blog post with all of my essentials on my blog urbanarling.com so I'm gonna be referencing a lot of the things that I talked about in that blog post I mentioned a few videos back that I am an Amazon influencer so I actually have like my own page with all of my little lists and idea boards so i've created a pet idea board on there i'll leave a link to that down below as well so that you guys can easily shop all of these things just to be transparent i do get a little commission for anything that you guys purchase through my page it's not a ton but everything helps I'm gonna be inserting photos of the items so that you guys can see them as I'm talking about them. The first couple essentials, of course, are a leash and collar. My very favorite leash ever is this very cute rainbow colored or like ombre colored leash from a brand called Found My Animal. I love the color scheme in it. They actually have a ton of other color schemes as well and like other ombre colored leashes if you guys are looking for some other like colorways. Sadly, they don't have a matching collar that goes with this, but I found a collar that coordinates with that leash super, super well. It does come in a few other color options as well, but I thought the red one coordinated very nicely with the red and the rainbow leash. The thing with collars is that if you have a dog that's going to grow a lot from its puppy stage to its adult stage then you're probably going to end up going through a few collars. I've gone through actually three different collar sizes with Indio. He started with like a small, then he grew into a medium and a large. Sometimes you find a collar that has like enough um, notches in it, like one that's adjustable, then you can kind of get away with it a little bit longer. Just depends on the collar that you find. This collar actually does have a lot of um, holes in it so that you can adjust it pretty easily. And then of course this leash has a very good amount of slack to it. So it's great for walks. I actually have another leash that you can actually like lock into place and adjust like the length of the leash. That's really helpful as well, especially when you're um, training your dog to walk alongside of you. But if you're just looking for one that is aesthetically pleasing, then I definitely recommend this rainbow leash. Another absolute essential, especially when we first got Indio, is a kennel or a crate. We started crate training Indio from the very first night that we got him, so he would sleep in his crate every single night. I swear that this was the main reason why Indio potty trained so quickly. He literally only had like two accidents, I think on the floor, like the first couple day or two that we had him. And I immediately took him outside so that he would understand that's where you go potty. But at night, it was really great having him in his crate because he would whine to let me know that he needed to go potty, which mind you was about four to five times a night the first like month and a half or so so he would whine for me to take him potty and then i would take him outside so he pretty quickly understood okay so potty is outside i tried pee pads those really didn't work he didn't care for them at all dogs also don't like to go potty where they sleep so since he knew that the crate was where he slept he didn't want to go potty in there therefore he would wake me up to take him outside and then that pattern just kind of easily developed that potty is outside. So the crate was definitely super awesome. Now that he's older, he doesn't sleep in his crate. He actually just sleeps on the ground, but we also know that he's potty trained. So there's no like worry about having an accident or anything like that. It's also great for travel or if you need to put your dog in a kennel when you're like leaving the house. So there's definitely a lot of uses for it. Greenies are definitely another must have for dogs at any age. Indio is obsessed with his greenies. I think because he doesn't get them super often, so like as soon as he smells them, he goes absolutely crazy. But they're great for cleaning your dog's teeth, freshening breath. So anytime that I can tell Indio's breaths get a little bit stinky, I go ahead and give him a greenie. 
They are a little bit spendier, so I actually don't give them like the whole greenie. I kind of just like cut it into little pieces. That way they last a little bit longer because he really doesn't need the whole thing. A little chunk does the trick. Another thing that I have found to be essential are dog bowl stands. What's great about the stands is that the water dish and the food dish are in place and it kind of like holds them in place. Whereas if you just had bowls on the floor, a lot of the times dogs get really over eager at mealtime. So they kind of like push the bowl around or accidentally like tip it over with their feet. So a bowl stand prevents that. Like I said, it kind of depends on the dog breed that you have as far as what kind of a stand you need. If you have a smaller dog breed, obviously a small stand is fine. If you have a larger dog breed, you're gonna need a taller stand. I've actually linked two different sizes, one that's a tall, dog bowl stand and one that's a smaller dog bowl stand. That's another plus is that they definitely look a lot cuter than bowls on the ground. Especially these two that I've linked are very, very cute. Another absolute essential would be a brush. The brush type that you need is going to depend on the dog breed that you have. Of course, if you have a dog who has very long curly hair, kind of like Indio, then you're gonna need a different brush than someone who has, let's say like a French Bulldog who really doesn't have a ton of hair. I have linked one here for you guys, but you are definitely gonna to wanna to do some research and figure out what kind of a brush you need for your dog. Right before I got Indio, I went to a pet store and I let them know I have a Labradoodle and I'm looking for a brush that's gonna work with his kind of hair. Unfortunately, the gal that was working, I don't think really knew what she was talking about. So the brush that she recommended me really didn't work on Indio at all. So that was kind of a waste. So maybe do some research online or talk to a dog groomer. That's gonna be a lot more reliable. Moving on to our next essential, which of course is toys. Indio and I have gone through tons of toys and I've really learned which ones are the best for him. One of his favorites are rope toys, kind of like this one. What's great about rope toys is that you can use them for a tug of war. You can also play fetch with them. Indio also likes to chew his rope toys for like hours on end. And they're a lot more durable than let's say fluffy dog toys. So they last you like a lot longer. I've linked this really cute fluffy bone toy. If I let Indio play with fluffy toys alone, we are at risk of him tearing them apart, but I still like to use them sparingly. Like during a fetch session, he doesn't really tear his toys apart during a fetch session. He absolutely loves fluffy squeaky toys. We just have to be a lot more sparing with them because they don't last as long. And that may not be a problem for every dog. That's just been kind of my experience with Indio. Another toy that he absolutely loves is this rubber bone. We do occasionally buy him real bones, but definitely not as often. Now that he's full grown, he will eat those in like an hour or two. But with his rubber bone, obviously he can't eat that, so he'll just chew that for hours on end. It's pretty tough, so it will last a long time. Rubber bones are awesome during that stage where puppies are teething and they want to like chew on everything. Another essential, of course, would be a dog shampoo. Indio gets bathed about once a month. You're really not supposed to bathe dogs more than that. So a dog shampoo can last you a pretty long time. This dog shampoo is actually vet formulated, so you know it's gonna be a good one. An absolute lifesaver would be doggy dry shampoo. I didn't even know that these existed at first, but it's such a smart idea because during those times where he's really stinky in between baths, a doggy dry shampoo is great for kind of like masking that smell. Another essential that I realized that I actually forgot to include would be a dog harness. India was a lot more mild when he was a puppy, but as he got older, he's gotten a lot more rambunctious. So on walks, he would kind of like end up choking himself with his collar. So we got him a dog harness that kind of just like straps around his body. That way he doesn't get choked. You may or may not need one depending on like your dog's personality, but that's definitely another essential that you might want to consider if you have a dog that does the same thing. So those are my absolute essentials for a new puppy. Obviously there's a lot of things that I could have added to this list. These are just items that I've found have been must-haves for me. You'll definitely learn a lot about your dog and his or her preferences and needs throughout the first year. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and for those of you who are new dog parents, congratulations and good luck! If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.